Hello there, I am Giant Grotel, and this is my video games that I own series, side series, and this time we are going over my PlayStation 1 collection, my Sony PlayStation 1 collection, let's go with that, yeah. So yeah, here's the games I have, let me count how many games I have, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have about 7 games, if I counted that right. So let's get back, let's get into it right away, let's jump right in and do this. Okay, so the first game I have here is a Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. I don't have like a case for this game, but I have this little envelope. Right here it says, um, uh, rated, rated E for E. I think I made, I think I drew this, wrote this when I was like 6. So like, Rady, Rady, R-A-D-I-E for E, or E. Rated E for E, yeah. I circled the second E. I don't know why I did that, but that's how I did it. Yeah, that's why I did it. This is rated E for everyone, of course, as you know. Um, I, I don't remember playing this game as a kid, really, but uh, I would like to give this game another go eventually, so why not? Next, we have Star Wars Dark Forces for the PlayStation 1. This game is rated teen for teen. It's, uh, I think like one of the game developers was uh, the game... Uh, developers, I think, yeah, that's the right word, I think, uh, was, um, LucasArts, which also, I remember LucasArts also made the Star Wars Racers game for, uh, N64, I'll put a box art, if I can find it on screen right now, of what game I'm talking about, but yeah, it was like a Star Wars racing game, it was based on, like, episode one of Star Wars, where Anakin was still a little kid, and used that, uh, that ship that was, um, ship racer thing that was also, that was, the back of it was, like, blue and white pattern, like, stripe, I think. So yeah, but I'll put a little um, PNG of that on screen too if I can find it. Hopefully I can find that. But yeah, I don't remember playing this game as a kid. And uh, I got this... Uh, all these games are from my older brother because my older brother had these games. So like I never actually received them. I just got them as hand-me-downs, which is pretty cool. And I think based on the title, it looks like a fun game. It may look, it may looks like... Kind of looks like bounty, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter games, I'm not sure. Maybe that kind of vibe, I'm not sure, but uh, still looks like a fun game, so yeah. That's pretty cool. Next we have Army Man World War. Uh, again, a game I got passed down to me from Elder Brother. It's rated teen for teen, it's for the PlayStation, of course. I don't remember playing this game at all, but it looks like a fun game, but... Then again, maybe this game didn't age well, I don't know. I think it might be on the sides of it may have not aged well, honestly. If you know any of these games, really, um, if you played them as a kid, uh, and just, if you want to tell them, talk to me about them, I guess, tell me about what they're like, I would like to hear in the comment section if someone's played these games before, but, yeah, I haven't really played this game at all, so, that's that, I guess. Next, we have Medal of Honor Underground from EA Games, this is right there, it's very teen for teen, for the PlayStation, of course. One of, I think this may have been like one of the first Medal of Honor games. Again, I haven't played this game, but uh, if anyone knows about this game, please tell me in the comment section down below if you can. If you want to, you don't have to. You can keep it all. You can keep it the whole secret, uh, the whole information to yourself, I guess. I, 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 I won't get mad. So yeah, this looks like a fun game, but again, it may have been one of these games that may have just not aged well. I'm not sure though, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is Monopoly for the PlayStation. It's rated E for everyone. Uh, I've honestly never got through a whole game of Monopoly, e playing it as a board game, playing it as a video game, never a full game because I think it just takes too long, honestly. I'd be willing to sit through a whole game, but famous last words before I regret that decision saying that, but uh, I, you, you know, it's a Monopoly's a fun game still. Uh, I might want, we might want to play this game for Super Nintendo guys, I, I'd be willing to play it, you know? Although I don't have the, I don't know if there's a cable controller extension for the PlayStation, where it could like have four players or four controllers, because the PlayStation 1 only has two ports, two controller ports, but yeah, looks like fun. We might want to play this for Super Nintendo guys sometimes, although I'm not sure if my capture card, um, I guess it's, I guess it could still capture component, because I have an Elgato game, game capture HD, just the regular one, so uh, yeah, this game was already, as I said before, I'm pretty sure I said that already. But, uh, yeah, I've never made it through a whole game in a Monopoly, but I would like to, I guess. But, again, famous last words before I regret saying that. Here is, uh, Super, uh, su sorry, I'm thinking like Super Mario. It's, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. I played this game at my after school, um, program when I was in elementary school. I really liked it. It was fun. 
I've got, I've made through like half of the, halfway through this game. I haven't beaten it. It's ready for, it's ready for everyone. It's for the PlayStation. It says greatest hits on the side right here. Greatest hits right there. Yeah, I don't know how I can see that, but you can see it a little bit, I guess. But yeah, it's a fun game. I'd recommend it. It's made by THQ, which is a cool company that made all these SpongeBob games back in the early like, 2000s and whatnot for like PlayStation, GameCube, and maybe even for PlayStation 2 at the time. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite, uh, one of, one of my, I think more, like, what I'm trying to say, I think, it, what I'm trying to say here is that I think this game is, like, one of the better Spongebob video games, honestly, because it was fun, caught gold dispatches and stuff, and have a good time. I want to beat this game eventually, but I haven't beaten it. I've actually considered doing, like, a Let's Play on this game, but, um, I'm not exactly, uh, I don't know exactly how the game ends and how difficult it is after like the halfway point but it gets harder as you go along trust me but maybe i'll do this as a let's play in the future i'm not sure i've really been considering it though so we'll see and for my last game here is croc the let croc legends of legend of the gobbos i remember also playing this time after school uh after school um what did i call it before after school after school program, there we go, I had to think there for a second. But yeah, it's ready for everyone, it's for the PlayStation. This is a really fun 3D platformer, and I want to get Croc 2 eventually, but Croc, I played like maybe a quart, not a third of this game, honestly. And what I've played so far, it's really fun. You play as this little gator called Croc, and uh, yeah, you you save these gobbos. Like, I remember one of the missions was like, s save the bird from the thief or something, or... Uh, yeah, I don't really remember much about this game, but uh, I'd, really, I'd really like to play it again. It's also one of the greatest hits again, as you see right there. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, I do recommend this game, though. Um, and yeah, I would like to play it again. So yeah, that is my collection for my PlayStation 1 games. So in my next episode, I believe I will do DS games next. Nintendo DS games next. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, so this has been Jericho again. I would like to thank you for giving you goodbye, and hope to see you guys in my next episode where I do the, my, where I show off my Nintendo DS collection.